Yan. Bali guys, doon sa loob na yon, doon sa loob, doon ko nilagay yung aming specimen. So dito, magantay tayo ng taxi. Good morning guys. Ngayong araw na to ay mandatory kami kailangan na mag ano na mag magpa swab test. Just go. Wala talagang magawa. Kailangan talaga lahat ng Pilipino dito kailangan dumaan sa sa swab test. So yun, wish wish us luck na lang. Negative tayo. Meron na akong unang dose, wala pang pangalawa kaya hindi kami exempted. So kailangan pa ulit na magpa test 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 test. Magpasalamala. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, mamaya sana makapag-video ako para ma maano, matingnan natin kung paano 'yung ginagawa yung swab test. Bali, ano kami dito? Tatlo kami dito sa loob ng cubicle. Ayun. So, guys, nakita ko na 'yung doctor. So, sabi, kailangan ibang klase 'yung swab test namin. So, medyo different style siya. So, kailangan namin mag-spit ng plan na galing sa loob namin. So, deep ano siya. Kailangan deep uh, uh, kind of uh, testing. So, hindi siya kagaya nung doon lang na isasub-sub-sub lang siya. So, different siya. So, that's why dito kami sa Adventist. So, wait ko na lang yung battle ko. So, para makapag spit out ako. And then, uh, ibibigay ko sa kanila for the testing. Yeah. Yeah. Medyo okay, natutuwa ako kasi meron na ako ngayong ano, bagong uh, uh, biligyan ako ng bagong vital setting. So before it's 165. So I was very very a little bit okay with that. Yeah. So let's see for the swap test. Ano mangyari? So i-email daw nila ang result. Email or it depends. So this is the one. Yeah, we have the blue tent at the back of the security guard station. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and then I just you can just go there. Yes, one for you and one for your friend. Yeah. Oh, this is mine. Yeah, yeah. So you just speak. Make sure the name and the date of birth is correct. Yeah. And then we have double bed. Okay. Then you need to take out the bottle and make sure the name and the date of birth is correct. Correct. Okay. Yes, yes. And then uh, you just open the bottle. Yeah. Okay. And then you uh, maybe cough several times. <laughs> make it wet. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, okay. okay. And then spray out the diffuser. The diffuser. Yes. And then make sure after you say the same. You seal bottle, it. Sure, yeah. Close the lid very yes, tight. Okay? Yes. Okay. And then double bed also need to seal up tight. Okay. Okay. okay? And, and then you can just and we have the collection point at the entrance. You can just drop all drop the over sample. Then oh. okay. okay. Sure. We will send you the sample today. Yeah. Sure. 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 Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So guys, ito na nga siya. Kakaiba siya. So ngayon is spitting ito. So mas madali siyang madidetect kung meron ka talaga siya. So you need to spit out. So yeah, I have my bottle, so I need to go to the cubicle there for the testing. And I hope we are negative so that we are not going to be quarantined. Yeah. There we go. Deep throat saliva. So dito tayo sa yan, deep throat saliva testing. So ito siya. May mga instructions sa loob. O pwede daw pala ako mag-video. <laughs> so ito siya. May mga ano. May mga instructions. So, sabi, prepare item including one specimen bottle and two specimen bags in tissue. So, ito na siya. So, ito try natin siya, guys, na medyo ano to, medyo kadiri ng konti kasi kailangan mo siyang mag-spin. Hmm? Ito tingnan natin. Ito yung, ito yung, tatayo ko lang yung ano ko. Para meron tayo. Okay. Uh, sabi niya, prepare the item. So this one. Okay. Kailangan ko lang ito. Magka-alcohol tayo. And that one. Perform the hygiene. Check the water. The personal details printed on the specimen bottles are correct. Open the specimen bottle. Make the nose. Crua from the throat to clear saliva from a deep throat. 
and they remove surgical mask and about 4 ml into the bottom above the lava contaminate the outer surface so tapos put on the mask, surgical mask and the lid and the specimen bottle tightly ensure to keep it leakage and clean it so ito na po siya <coughs> So, yun. Ito na siya, guys. So, ito na siya. So, meron tayo dito. So, kailangan natin siyang sealed mabuti. Siya. So, ipapasok natin itong saliva natin. So, tama naman po yung pangalan. Tapos, yung ating birthday. So, nandito siya. Pasok po natin siya dito. Double sealed natin siya. Nasi-sealed pa rin po natin ulit. Medyo, medyo kailangan natin siyang i-air natanggala ng i-air muna ng konti Pasok natin po dyan So, bago tayo makawag ng mask natin kailangan ulit natin ito So, very different po siya, no? So, pero ato tapos na po ako meron na tayong specimen Magkawag ng gara Ayan guys, so tapos na po yung ating pag ano, so mag-aantay na lang po tayo ng resulta niya kung ano ang mangyayari. So yes, see you po uh, mamaya, mamaya sasabihin ko kung anong resulta kapag nag-send na po sila ng messages. Yes, thank you for watching guys and yes, keep safe and follow the protocol. Yan, bali guys, doon sa loob na yon, doon sa loob, doon ko nilagay yung aming specimen. So dito, mag-antay tayo ng taxi. Hello there. What's up? What's up? Yes, good afternoon. Oh no, it's good evening. Yes, good evening. It's six o'clock in the evening here. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, I had my first COVID test because it is mandatory for all of us here, Filipino workers in Hong Kong. So we need to do our mandatory swab test, and I'm very happy that my my test comes out negative. And yeah. Uh, although uh, I heard so many uh, feedback from my Filipino, fellow Filipino people here that they feel bad, they feel discriminated because why only us uh, who belong to the uh, uh, minority of Filipino workers here in Hong Kong is the one who is uh, being asked to do a mandatory checkup. So, yeah, at the very beginning, I feel sad also about that. Because I feel this, uh, it is like uh, quite discriminating. But, you know, as I think about it, it wasn't like that for me now because it's like being tested is knowing. So, the more you know about your situation, the better. So, the earlier you know, the earlier the, the cure is. If you are positive, then they, you can find ways, a solution for you to, you know, to be isolated and to be treated. And also, it will be good for the people you've been uh, working with. They will be protected also. So, so it's a matter of you know being uh, uh, socially responsible. So yes, you are okay, but your body, your stamina is good. But the people that might have or catch it if you are positive might have a very low stamina, and it will give them a very bad uh, effect. Uh, into their into their body so 
once you know that you are negative, it's good, right? But it doesn't mean that you just go out and talk with other people. It's better to be a little bit, uh, you know, distance yourself a little for a while 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 the COVID is really going on. Um, my people might understand why you doesn't want to mingle with them. So those only who's uh, going to judge you if you're far away from them or you don't understand, maybe. But if you understand why you're doing that because of this pandemic, I don't think it's uh, necessary for you to explain to them. But at least, yeah, uh, I was also so happy because aside from being uh, tested negative, I also, my, my, my BP has gone down. So previously I got uh, 165 over 90. But earlier when they got my BP, they they, they, they check it for me. It was 135 over 77. So it means it's going down. So I need more exercise, of course, eat the right food and also uh, choose the, the, the right uh, habit in order for my blood pressure to you know to become normal again so um, as I as I added to this I just want you to you know to to go test it to, go, to get tested guys so don't worry about that because uh, as I said the earlier you know the better for you to, to be cured as soon as possible and to be responsible to the people around you so yes and don't feel so bad about that it's also look for the uh, positive side positive side so it's also helping our government to fight this virus for us also so thank you so much uh, i'll see you again for my next vlog